What's up guys, JTM Off-Road here. Today we're gonna go look at an axle. So uh, one of my buddies knows that I was looking for an 8.8. I actually bought one probably about a month and a half ago and decided that I wasn't gonna use it because when I bought it, I was thinking I'll just get you know whatever gears it has and just replace them because um, I was thinking an overall gear upgrade for my Jeep at some point. I've got four tens in it right now, it came factory. So that's going to end up being too much money and I really like the rear locked and I don't want to do it in the 35. Um, so I ended up just selling, turning around and selling that 8.8 .8 and just been kind of waiting to see what else comes out. So. There's a guy that's got one selling for 175 that already has the um, purchase welded on for uh, spring under, so that's how I'm going to keep it. Um, supposedly it has four tens. The guy's never opened it up. Uh, he bought it for a project for his YJ. Bought it off a guy that was selling it because he got uh, one ton axles for his. So um, he's never had it open. I don't know what the gears look like. So uh, I packed a bag full of stuff, um, some jack stands. So I'm gonna go over, you know, put it up on jack stands, crack it open, see how the gears look, make sure it's not full of mud and you know broken teeth and stuff. So we'll go ahead and see what it looks like and see if we come home with an axle. So I got the 8.8, almost didn't. Um, the guy had never taken the cover off. Uh, so when I went down, um, he actually took it off right before I got there, which was really nice. And he, uh, he opened it up, found out the, the spider gears were welded. Um, so, and also inside, we'll go ahead and look at it. The, uh, Looks like there had been some muddy water that got in there at some point. There's the uh, Lincoln locker. The guy before him uh, welded the spider gears together. Also welded these perches on. And those are going to get redone. So the there is some surface rust from uh, whenever that stuff got in there, but it doesn't look like there's any severe pitting. Um, so I'll have to go ahead and get some bearings and seals swapped out in this and uh, do a little bit of other work to it. But um, whenever we found that out, he, uh, I was kind of hesitant on getting it because um, he wanted 175 for it. And so I was about ready to walk away and he was saying how he just wanted to get rid of it, get it out. So. I said, well, would you would you take 50 bucks? And he agreed. So hopefully, I mean, I hope these are four tens. Um, he checked and said they were. I don't know how else to uh, check them. So I'll look into that, make sure it actually is four tens. And I haven't decided yet if I'm going to leave the uh, gears welded like that or if I'm going to go ahead and... I want to do a mini spool. Um, but I might have to do a full spool now or get a different carrier. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But uh, so I got it for 50 bucks, 775. So even if I can't use it, you know, I'm only out 50 bucks instead of 175. So hopefully it works out. If it does, then it'll be a good deal. If not, chalk it up to experience. So you'll see uh, 
We'll see more of this guy here soon. You have to get the uh, perches welded better and you know, check everything else and get the rest of the brackets and all the stuff I need to get to mount up the YJ and be set. All right, see you guys.